Hey, are you a Gen X woman who is sitting there thinking, you know, I like the idea of starting a business, but you're not sure? This is common. And it's such a fantastic goal to have, especially as a Gen X woman who is sitting there thinking, I'm not sure if I'm fully happy in my career, in my financial situation, or whatever, you know, whatever you may be experiencing at this moment. Starting a business you know, at 45, 50, 55 can feel very scary. And when you look at the entrepreneurial world out there, there's a lot of, you know, white, blonde, thin, young women. And you're like, I don't know if I've got what it takes to compete against that. Like, I feel old, I feel overweight, I feel <clears throat> um, just like I'm not going to fit in. And believe me, I've been there. I have been in, in that exact spot. And I'm going to tell you all the reasons why I think it's a really good idea to start a business, especially as a Gen X woman, and how to overcome these insecurities. So if you haven't met me yet, my name is Melissa Houston. I am the founder of She Means Profit. I started my business at the age of 46. And I had a lot of resistance at first, right? Because I mean, the online world is filled with I guess ways I could compare myself against others and, and feel like I was inferior. But at the age that I'm at and with over 20 years of experience as a CPA, I realized that I had a lot to offer. And when people look at me, they may look at me and think, oh, well, you know, she's definitely older. But with age comes experience and comes wisdom. It's you know, I, I've spent over 20 years gathering the information, gathering the knowledge through work experience, through life experience, and I'm ready to share it with others to help you build your business and build wealth through your business. If you like what you see, I encourage you to hit like, hit subscribe, and share it with any friends that you feel can help them as well. Because as women, I have to say we're in it together. I believe that women should be supporting women, especially when it comes to business ownership. So one of the great reasons why you would want to start a business at the age of over 50 is that your experience is your superpower. You've likely worked in the corporate world for you know a decade or two. You've got a lot of experience. You've raised your kids. You've worked you've got life experience, you've got work experience, and this knowledge and experience can be wrapped up as a superpower. You don't have to start a business doing the exact same thing you were doing when you were in the corporate world, but a lot of those skills that you have can be transferred into business ownership. There are a lot of women who start their businesses in their late 40s and 50s and 60s. For example, Martha Stewart, she started her business, I think she was 58 or something, don't quote me on that. Vera Wang was an older woman who started her business. You know, like there's a lot of women who start businesses and succeed because we have so much more experience. The second reason why it's a great idea to start a business at this age is because it gives you the opportunity to take control over your financial future. I believe that business ownership helps you create wealth and you are creating wealth through generating revenue from your business. But the other thing is, is your business is a financial asset that you are building and it builds value as you build it over the years. And at some point when you're saying, okay, you know, I've had enough, it's time to exit, you can sell your business for a decent price, depending on where you're at in your business. A third reason is it allows you to follow your passion and purpose. Quite often, you know, living in the nine to five cubicle, it feels very soul, suck, soul sucking or soul crushing or however you may feel about it. And by branching off into business ownership, you get to be in charge of what you want to do with your life. It brings a new vibrancy to your life and you have a new purpose and you feel more fulfilled. Business ownership also offers freedom and flexibility. And by that, I mean that you can forget the nine to five, Monday to Friday, you know, uh, schedule and you can work around your own schedule. So if you still have kids that need you or you have parents that need you right now, 
it offers a lot more flexibility for you to start your business and be able to work around the hours that you need to work. A fifth reason is that when you start a service-based business, you're really looking at low cost startup, which is excellent, right? Because we don't want to spend a lot of money on a business at the beginning if we're not 100% sure that it's going to work. So you want to start off slowly. You can start off as a side hustle too while you're still in the corporate world. There's nothing that says that you can't leave your corporate job unless, of course, there's a conflict of interest and your employer doesn't approve of it. But if there isn't, you can start small and build your business and have it proven to be a viable offer so that at some point you can leave your job and become a full-time business owner. Another thing is it's never too late to learn. So even though we've got tons of experience, we may feel that, okay, like, do I need to learn another thing? Like, I'm too old to learn this. You're not too old to learn anything. And in fact, you may regain the joy of learning as you start doing things that are solely for your business because you're building your empire, right? You are building your business and you put that energy into something that's yours. It's your baby and you get to grow and nurture it. And the final reason why it's great to start a business after 50 is it helps you build a legacy. So starting a legacy can mean either financial or philanthropic or simply showing others that age is not a barrier to success. Whatever your reasons for starting a business, that is your legacy that you can pass down from generation to generation. I think it's really exciting that you are considering starting a business. And if you need more help, I have created a course called From Office to Entrepreneur that is helps you get from your big business idea to monetizing your offer to getting that offer out into the world. If you feel like a course isn't a great fit for you, I am absolutely open to meeting with you one-on-one, -on -one, do a discovery call to see if we're a good fit to work together. I do work with clients one-on-one -on -one as well. Business ownership is so exciting, and it's certainly something that I've never regretted doing since I started four and a half years ago. I really hope that you'll join me on this journey and start your business and grow your wealth through your business. If you like what you see, don't forget to click like, hit subscribe, and share it with friends who may benefit from this video as well.